Authorities say there is no increased threat to the public after an incident yesterday where a 32-year-old man with a history of drug use and mental illness allegedly crashed his car into pedestrians outside Melbourne's Flinders Street train station. The incident just after 4.40 p.m. on Thursday left 19 people in hospital, including a four-year-old boy. Four of the injured are in a critical condition, and 15 are stable. The New Zealand High Commission in Canberra confirmed that one of those injured was a New Zealand citizen. Witnesses reported hearing loud bangs as the car ploughed into pedestrians, saying people were thrown into the air before the car crashed into a tram station and came to a stop. Police said the driver was a 32-year-old Australian citizen of Afghan descent who had a history of assault, drug use and mental health issues. They said he was known to police but was not on bail or under any corrections orders at the time of the incident. The motivations are unknown. Acting Chief Commissioner Shane Patton said last night there was no evidence the incident was related to terror. However, he said there would be hundreds more police out and about in coming days, with the city preparing to host big-ticket events like Christmas carols and the Boxing Day test. We have no increased threat for any of those events at this stage we believe and understand this is a quarantined incident, he said. All roads in Melbourne's CBD were reopened about 2 a.m., and trams are now operating as usual. Police are expected to provide another update today. Police yesterday said they did not know when it would be possible to interview the driver, who is among those being treated in hospital. It will be up to doctors to determine when he is fit to be interviewed. Acting Chief Commissioner Patton said. Police said they were searching the driver's vehicle, and it was seen being removed from the scene overnight. All roads in Melbourne's CBD were opened early this morning. A second man, 24, who was seen filming the incident and was found to be carrying a bag with knives in it, was also arrested yesterday afternoon. He was last night interviewed by investigators but has now been released and is expected to be charged on summons over possession of cannabis and possessing a weapon. Police said in a statement they did not believe the man was involved in the incident. The driver was arrested by an heroic off-duty police officer, acting Chief Commissioner Patton said. Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews said it would be right to single, the officer, out for special praise. He instinctively came to the aid of others, in the protection of public order, and potentially, avoiding so much other carnage, Mr. Andrews said. He said the arresting officer was injured, and was among those being treated in hospital.